find a spot inside where the breath feels good, or at least okay. But let it stay okay for a while, and you'll find that after a while it begins to build up momentum. And a woman back east who came to me and said after many years she'd finally decided she couldn't handle breath meditation because after a while she'd get this sense of fullness inside and it scared her. And I had to reassure her, no, that's what it's all about. We're trying to give rise to that sense of fullness inside. And just learn how not to be scared by it, not to be threatened. If a sense of fullness comes on, and especially it comes right in the line of the middle of the chest down through the abdomen. Think of it spreading out. That way you've got a larger foundation, a sense of well-being that you can carry around. It's your quiet spot inside. And John Sweat used to talk about the monastery here as being a quiet corner where people could get away from all the disturbance of the world outside and be able to look inside themselves. Now this coming weekend, of course, the quiet corner is going to have a lot of crowds coming in. So when the quiet corner doesn't exist outside, you've got to create it inside. Have this spot inside where you can carry this sense of well-being around with you, both physical and when the physical well-being feels, feels strong enough, then it starts getting mental as well, a sense that you're safe inside here. And then all the activity around you, all the various opinions that are going to get thrown around and all the, all the commotion doesn't have to invade that spot. Try to maintain that sense of your quiet corner, your quiet, your still corner inside. Make practice in keeping that going. So even as you're talking with other people, there's still that quiet corner inside. When you're talking, you come from that quiet corner. When you're acting, you try to come from that quiet corner that you can carry around inside. And that way the events of the day and the events of the weekend will just roll off like water off a duck's back. And it's good practice in maintaining your, your center, your sense of concentration in, in spite of whatever else comes up. Because there are going to be a lot of things in life that are a lot more, a lot more disturbing than just a weekend songkran. We've got to face aging, we've got to face illness, we've got to face death. You've got that quiet corner inside, then these things don't have that much of an impact on you. You've got your own safe spot inside, so try to maintain that. Don't let it get scattered. Don't let it get destroyed by the events around you. <laughs>